The show that brings the drama. You think I'm scared of you? Like no other. I'm pregnant. Is taking a break. I can't believe this. But on July 6th. I'll be there with popcorn. Sisters Returns. Does he tell you how much it calls me? Get ready. Just thinking about you. Because this summer. Did you forget what he did to us? It's gonna be lit. What the hell? There's no way. Science is science. It's not my kid. Tyler Perry's Sisters Returns July 6th. Catch up now on demand and the BET. Man, oh man, let me tell you. <laughs> Alright, so Sisters fans, hope everybody's doing well. Even though I feel like that's a, you know, overwhelming. No, we are not, Jeremy. We are not feeling well. So, last night, the bad news broke. Or was it yesterday evening? Long story short, nephew got off the bus. Helped him with his homework. We played uh, Nintendo Switch for a little while. I passed out from like maybe 5.45 to close to 8 o'clock. I'm like, holy crap. I woke up. A bunch of people sent me messages. And it had the link to a video. I clicked on it. And it started off, you know, with that. You, the, the, um, a shot overlooking the city. I'm like, oh shit, are we getting a sister's promo? Okay, this is great. I got something to work with here. July 6th, folks, Sisters will not be returning on June 29th. It will be instead returning one week later, July 6th. And if I'm not mistaken, instead of the season finale uh, being on September 7th, it's going to be on September 14th. I had to look at my calendar real quick. So that's pretty much the main news of this video so if you just clicked on the video to understand what's going on that's it the show has just been pushed back one week you saw the promo and that's all there is to say uh the rest of the video is just me kind of you know talking about my thoughts on it so you know for people who like just get to the point you got the point within the first two minutes so uh, before i continue make sure you take a moment to hit the thumbs up button to show you like the video Follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. Yeah, I just checked. I'm like maybe 125 followers away from 10,000 on Twitter. So if you haven't followed me on Twitter, please do so. Like I said, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook group, all that stuff is in the description box. Um, you know, hit subscribe and hit the bell icon and select all. Because once I get more news about certain things, of course, I'll do videos on it. And I want you to keep up to date. Uh, so... How do I feel about it? In a sense, I feel a bit ticked off because the main reason why is we don't know why this is happening. And to be completely honest, I highly doubt we'll find out a reason for it. It is Wednesday. You know, it is April 20th, 420. Haha. <laughs> My question is, number one, why would they drop this on a Tuesday instead of a Wednesday that's that's my first question because you know if it being sisters you know you would think they would drop it on sisters Wednesday given the fact that you know last week oh we're 11 weeks away from the new episodes and then technically today we're still 11 weeks away from the next episode number two this reminds me of if loving you is wrong when the show was off the air for over a year the ending of season three was March 7th, 2018. They had this whole promotional pitch at the tail end of the year. The show's coming back in February. And I'll never forget when the show got pushed back to March 19th, 2019. And people went off. And the reason I say I'll never forget it is because, um, you know, this was around the time I had first started reviewing the show. And as a result, the show was officially off the air for over a year. And fans were in an uproar due to the fact that they gave us false hope. Yeah, they did give us two episodes back to back. You know, one on the 19th and one on the 20th. A great way to start off the season. However, you got people hyped up, but then you just pulled the rug from underneath us at the last minute. I will give Sisters credit, though, because I do think it was better for us to find out now as opposed to, let's say, two weeks or hell, even the week of 
June 29th when the show was supposed to come back. And then they're like, nope, we're going to push it back a week. Because going back to 2019, when Sisters in the Oval were first set to air on BET, because remember at the time, uh, both shows came on, I think the same night, like the Oval at 9 o'clock and Sisters at 10 o'clock. And look, if I'm wrong, that was a long time ago. I think the show got pushed, but the shows got pushed back one or two weeks from the original air date. So it was like, well, damn, now we got to wait even longer to see it. But with the freaking situation we're in right now, fans are pissed off. And look, like I said, it's only a week. But this kind of link in kind of a brief, you know, segue from the main topic. This is why I haven't been doing many videos. Not because there aren't shows to review. There are people who want individual Miss Pat show episode reviews. There are people who want Saints and Sinners, which I still am kicking myself for not doing because I feel like perhaps that show might revitalize the channel right now. There's none to talk about on the Oval. I got maybe a couple sisters videos here and there to talk about, but YouTube ad revenue is kind of slow right now. I'm still doing okay, but nowhere near as good as the first three months of the year. eBay has been bringing in fast money, and as you know, and good money at that. And as you know, your boy is saving up for that house. So my savings account is really benefiting from eBay. So kind of like a business, which I am running, I got to focus on what's bringing in the money as opposed to what, you know, the people want. Because if the views, look, if YouTube was kicking eBay's ass, I'll be doing more YouTube right now. But, you know, I got to do what I got to do. It sucks for me because it's like, well, damn, now I got to wait until July for sisters content, you know, mine is the eventual trailer we'll get, you know, which will be a lot of things to break down. Um, but the thing about it is, folks, I think the biggest slap in the face, just like if loving you was wrong, was that they had the audacity to release a promo with nothing but old material we've seen in the other episodes. And no, I do not count the one little segment where Aaron and Karen are at the salon. Oh, science is science. And um, Fatima busting on Gary and Hayden because, first of all, she did that at the end of the last episode. Secondly, those things were in the, well, the Fatima stuff, those were in the promotional photos for the mid-season finale of a scene that didn't even make it into the mid-season finale. And then the Karen Aaron thing, we got a glimpse of that during the preview of the next episode, episode 12. So if you ask me, this entire promo did not do justice to the fan base by not releasing anything. And I don't know, maybe, just maybe, later today, to kind of make amends, they will release a promotional photo, you know, uh, of characters in a scene we have not yet seen from season 4B. Maybe we'll get a little teaser of Zatima. I don't know. I just feel like for me personally, because people are already up in arms. June 29th, give us Zatima now. And I've been on the look, guys. I don't think continuity wise is going to make sense. But people are speculating Zatima is going to come out now because Sisters has been pushed back. I wouldn't get my hopes up. I just feel the show got pushed back a week for a reason we have yet to know. It could be another show that BET is trying to promote where it's like, hey, let's kind of push Sisters back one week to let this other show shine or which wouldn't make a lot of sense, especially if the show's supposed to come out on Wednesday night. Because it's like, wouldn't you want it next to Sisters in terms of getting ratings due to proximity? I don't know. And the main thing I really want to end this video on, because I feel like I could talk about it for a little bit more, but honestly, there's no need. Don't blame the cast. I know a lot of people last night were like, you know what, the cast, how, I mean, y'all been saying June 29th. Folks, the cast have no control over this. It's a decision made by either Tyler Perry and or the Viacom Network. I can't tell you what's going on. I mean, I'm more inclined to think that it's probably a network decision because of things behind the scenes. Because as far as I can tell, Tyler Perry, he makes the content, he gives it to the network he's partnered with, and then they're the ones who distribute it. You know, because he's busy working on 20 other projects while it's like, hey, y'all do, you know, what you want with these 22 episodes. Well, I'm going to work on the next project. So 
the cast can only relay the information they're given as well. Same thing with Loving You is Wrong. Remember when Kelly and Brad, basically everybody had a different answer. And you can't blame them because they're the ones who get the information just like us. That's one thing I've learned over the years, you know, interacting with cast members and learning about behind the scenes stuff. They know pretty much as little as we do when it comes to release dates and whatnot. You know, like most of the time, well, honestly, they don't know what even happens in the show until they're handed the scripts. And obviously they can't tell me because of spoilers and the hell I wouldn't want to know anyway. Just don't be an asshole to the cast members, okay? Because I know uh, yesterday, um, a number of them released, you know, like little behind the scenes videos and, you know, photos of different cast members and stuff about July 6th. And some of the comments are rather nasty. So, uh, again, guys, don't harass the cast that was not meant to rhyme but i think it did this is not their fault okay so please be patient um we'll make it through it somehow perhaps like i said maybe they'll maybe bet will kind of soothe over fans by letting us know something but my biggest fear is like in the long run season five is the last season even though it has no correlation to the back half of season four but then again you never know they could be stretching things out just for the sake of yeah, we got to figure out our next move here. So that's really all I got to say about this particular subject. The show got pushed back a week. It's not the end of the world, but um, BET, this is just a word of caution. Don't change the date anymore unless you're going to change it back to June 29th or give it to fans earlier. And I feel like I'm probably going to have to periodically make announcement videos or posts just because... You know good and hell well on June 29th, there are going to be people who are pissed off because there's no new episode. Yes, it is April and there will be people June 29th who do not know or won't know by June 29th the show isn't coming back on that day. Years of experience with this, with the haves and the have-nots and of loving you is wrong and green leaf. There are fans who just won't know. I bet tonight there will be people for the first time who will learn about this. They'll be watching Family Fun Night on BET. That sister's promo is going to air. And then they're going to be like, what the hell? So yeah, July 6th, people. So with that being said, that's all I have to say for the video. I've already done my plugs at the beginning. You know, like and subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, with that being said, I will catch you all in the next one.